My name is Ulrich Heinen. I'm a cellist. I um, co-founded uh, this group, the Birmingham Contemporary Music Group, BCMG, uh, some 30 years ago. And this is the second time we're playing Stockhausen Stankler. Well, I've met Stockhausen before. Um, when I was a student, my teacher used to teach at the Darmstadt Summer Festival, which is um, a festival for young composers and young performers. Um, so I went there several summers, and in one summer, he, Stockhausen was there and gave lectures, and I came to some he heard them. And one day, my teacher said, I'm going to go for dinner with Stockhausen tonight. Do you want to come along? I said, yeah, sure. <laughs> So, the three of us, we drove to a fancy restaurant in the Black Forest and I remember having snails for the first time in my life. And so I was there just as a fly of the wall or as an accompaniment to my teacher who was having a conversation with Stockhausen about all sorts of things and I was just amazed about the man. I knew from him because my cousin had piano lessons with him when he was uh, 16, 17, a young student or something like this. So I knew about him already and he used to live in a village which my unc where my uncle lived, so I had vague, some vague ideas. Anyway, I went to his lectures and I was always impressed about his intellect, his uh, capacity to speak several languages in, in the same lecture, lecture at once and having everything at his fingertip. Just amazing, amazing man. Very charismatic and very relaxed. I'm first time now in, back in rehearsal since lockdown. It feels very weird because this is the place where I used to work all the time. And now since March, I haven't even been in the city center of Birmingham. It's just crazy, <laughs> very straight. Feels good. It's very nice. We need to play, and if you can't play to people, you, you, um, there, there is a big chunk then missing, which you can't do. But on the other hand, you can use the time to look at things you didn't have time before. So for me, it's quite nice to get into all sorts of things. Um, so I've spent time to learn three pieces I've never had time to learn before, which I felt was quite, quite important for me as a teacher because whenever these pieces come up, it is actually quite uh, important that you have an idea what, what they like to learn and what the, what, they, what the difficulties is. So I felt quite, so far I felt it's, it's all right for me personally, but then we have a nice big house in the garden, so it's much easier than for those people who, who don't. It's, a, it's an amazing thing and I remember hating the rehearsals because there's so much information and it is, it is actually not instrument friendly. I have a foot pedal and a filter thing attached to computer and a loudspeaker and I have to form these vowels of the names of the star, of the star signs and I have to observe the rhythms without a conductor but still be together with everybody else, if that makes sense. And then we have little models which we repeat and then you have to count the repeats and then let's say after repeat 13 you have to go to another model but you must count 13 repeats. So if you have, let's say, 12 bars and play them and then repeat and again and again, after four or five times it's easy to lo lose count where you are. So you have to do all these sort of things. So it is actually very, very stressful and not very gratifying to rehearse. But I remember from the night when we played it here in Cannon Hill Park, it was wonderful. It was just an amazing occasion because there are these five groups scattered around the park, the audience mingles around in the middle, the stars come out and the whole thing does make sense. Or remember that's, uh, at least that's how I remembered it. We 
imitate the vowels of the names of the stars constellation, which you would see if, there were, if, there's, if you could see stars. And this is quite repetitive and um, it gives you a feeling of um, calmness and you like a feeling of unity with the universe somehow. In the middle of the piece, however, there is a place where this all stops and we uh, try to feel our own impulses and project them and play in an upward manner. And this is in three stages and the last stage is the most uh, powerful one which is, will be accompanied by fireworks. And I remember this. So it is a chance for all the players involved, so there are about 25 players or so, and they all can improvise on this. And it's amazing, sort of spectacular. So you don't know what's going to come out. You don't know what you will do yourself. You don't know what other people will do. You don't know how it all will add up and what sort of impression uh, it will make, but it is something to watch out for. The performance we've done all these years ago was uh, quite spectacular because we rehearsed in Canal Hill Park for 10 days or so, indoors, and during these rehearsals it was constantly raining. It wasn't only raining during the day, it was also raining in the night. And the morning when we got it was raining and even it was still raining and that went on for days and days and days. And we're all thinking, what are we going to do? because the, the chance of fair weather is very slim. And Stockhausen, you came, he was there all the time. He said, no, don't worry, it'll be fine, it'll be fine. So on the day, we, we had these special stages, which were then covered up because of the rain, uh, so the, the instruments wouldn't get wet, and the plugs would get wet, and they had to be covered up. And we rehearsed all day to make it work, even though it was raining. Lo and behold, at five o'clock it stopped raining, at seven o'clock it was all dry, at 8.30 the clouds parted, at nine o'clock the stars were out, and the whole thing just worked, just like that. Miracle, absolutely. <laughs>